A very good morning. I'm Dr. G. Prasad Rao, a senior psychiatrist from Asha Hospital. It is lovely meeting you again this morning. Today, we understand that life is moving so fast. But sometimes, some of us dream, is phobia normal to everyone? What is phobia? Phobia is fear of something. It can be a, a particular event. It can be fear of talking. It can be fear of living in a room. It can be in fear of closed spaces. Oh, hundreds of names, including COVID phobia, HIV phobia, illness phobia, heart attack phobia, death phobia, and of course, phobia of a relationship as well. So what is phobia in centrally? Phobia centrally means you have a fear and merely thinking about it or in that situation, you develop a kind of a severe anxiety, which is fear of known or unknown harm which you can happen to you, usually accompanied by rapid raise of pulp heart rate, we call it palpitation, dryness of mouth, unable to talk, just running away, we call it fear, fright and flight reaction. For example, you see a snake, I think the first thing you do is just run away from it, run away far, just jump out. So that is a fright reaction. So phobia, ladies and gentlemen, is so common. In fact, we call it Phobia is one of the early milestones where you go, would have gone through. In the childhood, the most common phobias which a child would pass through would be fear of darkness or fear of being left by the mother in the cradle. That is probably the earliest fear a child will go through. So, but child also as he or she grow up mentally or cognitively develops Yes, even if my mother goes away, she is there for me, she will come back to me, she will come back and feed for me. This psych cognitive psychologist have recognized, especially Jean Piaget, who, is, who has very closely observed his three children development and gave a cognitive psychology. He felt that these phobias do pass through in the very early stage because children will subsequently tell about that. The other phobias are, of, of course, going in the dark, bathing, which usually passes off, or a bladder control, for example, in some, the urine control, the motion control, whether they can control or not. That is one stage which they, every child passes through. But to coming to a much more middle, mature thing, I think fear of probably a police is a conditioned fear which every mother, every parent-to-be would uh, condition the child. If you don't eat, somebody will come and snatch. That would be a common theme. It can be a police, it can be anything. So these are certain phobias which every one of us go through. Many times, some of these phobias can be lingering in few people. In that few people, a phobia, again, between 18 to 24 years, especially in girls, fear of lizards, fear of cockroaches, fear of insects, fear of centipedes are again a normal part. But they soon overgrow between two years to three years and realize that not all harmful things. And then as you mature, fear of being alone, or fear of growing up actually, and multiple fears of similar nature, each one of us go through. Remember, when I talked about these normal fears, I only told you, as a psychology, everyone experiences this as a normal thing. And as we move forward, I think we move to become much more mature adults, we become positive, we know how to overcome. In fact, overcoming the earlier childhood fears is a stepping stone of growth of a personality. Well, this is how we all grow up. And in adulthood, we do develop different phobias based on our experience. Something more about other fears as we move forward. I would like to sign off today again with saying, 
fears are common everyone experiences as a normal growth but in adulthood some fears are much more difficult to manage i'll come to that when we come back i'm signing off from the manasar over youtube bye bye i am dr g prasad rao a senior psychiatrist from hyderabad